points on a 2D plane and where every point is just given two coordinates x i comma y i. I have to return the widest vertical area. Now what this widest vertical area by them means is an for sure why this vertical area between two points because we have given n points a vertical area is an area fixed between the like of a fixed width extending infinitely along the y-axis as you can see if i have two points so it's a vertical area between them but we want the widest vertical area is the one with the maximum width the one who has this as the maximum width between the points Although I can extend it infinitely in the length, like in the y axis, but in the width, it should be maximum possible. So ultimately, if I can just imagine this as with a few points itself. So let's imagine I have these points, these points, these points. So infinitely, I can move them up. So there is no point to make the vertical bar. But the only thing which I want is what is the distance between these points? What is the distance between this point and this point? Now, shall I take this as a distance? No, I should not because I want the width, maximum width. Width is between this and this point. If I extend this down, then it will be the width. Okay, I can just check the width between this point and this point. And uh, here, what about this and this? Yeah, if you go and check the width between these two points, then it will be zero. So I can just go and have like this width between the next two points and the width between these points. So out of all these points, which will give me the maximum width, that will be the answer. That will be the length which I wanted because ultimately I just wanted to return the widest vertical area. That's it. And which is the vertical, widest vertical area is the one with the maximum width. I just have to return that. If you go in the example itself, we have this, all these, as you can see, are having one as the width. So the answer is one itself. Cool. Uh, so we'll just do one thing. We have all these points. We'll go on to all the points. We know that if the point is this, I let, let's say x comma y, and other point is x2 comma y2. So I just know, I just have to subtract x2 minus x1 to get this specific width, width between x1 y1 and x2 y2 and that's the only thing which i wanted so i'll just go and iterate on all of my points and get the answer and there's nothing which we did uh, we just only wanted to get the width between every two consecutive points again we want consecutive points so first we will have to sort the points so what we will do is we will just um, sort the points uh, dot begin uh, points dot end now uh, we want we want the maximum width which is the answer for us so i'll iterate on all of my points uh, points dot size and also i plus plus now i just say uh, points is equal answer is equal to maximum of answer of points of i minus points of i minus one but that's a coordinate so i just wanted only the zeroth which is the only x i wanted a difference of and then ultimately i can return my answer which is the answer which i want let's quickly see if you have not done any mistakes and now we can submit it so with this the time complexity of this will be as we are sorting because we want the difference between consecutive points and it is already not sorted so time complexity as you can see will be o of n log n because of sorting nothing much and space as we are not using any extra space but we are sorting and sorting internally takes a space of log n so the space will be o of log n but for python like for c++ in java it will be log n for python it will be o of n cool thank you very much bye bye